Hey everybody, welcome back to Focus with GK. I know it's been a minute since I've been on here because I've just been busy. I do all types of photography here in New Orleans and convention work is one of them. So my commercial clients may be a business from out of town that comes to our city and they put on a program, a seminar, they've got speakers, group shots, parties, events, you name it, they do it, I capture it. This week, today, was the last day of my job. I had to shoot a wedding on Saturday, and then Sunday morning I had to be downtown for 10 a.m. all the way through today, which is Wednesday. So yeah, great group, easy to shoot, but I absolutely had to show you this video of the real world usability of the Fringer adapter Canon lens on this camera. I had to because it was this morning <laughs> This morning man. I took my phone out and I was like I've got to show Me on the job actually working for you to believe me That's what I wanted to see when I was looking for reviews on anything, you know, I like seeing real-life shooting on the job in the dark room Just the real deal. You know what I mean? So anyway, let me show you this video of what we did do earlier. You can see that my phone is showing the back of the screen. That little dot that you see being focused on. I can change the mode to how this camera sees the focus. And I chose the little square. This camera can go down to a single pixel for a square. Or make the, um, the focusing area pretty wide. Since I was so far away, I wanted to make sure I nailed the focus on my subject really far away so that itty bitty dot was awesome for me to put it on the person. I even had face detection on and the darn thing worked. And, and that was with the Fringer adapter. This guy. That was with the Fringer adapter on my Canon 85 1.8. No lie. The entire week I captured their event with only two lenses. The lens on the camera right now, which is a 16 1.4, and this guy. So that's my wide. Here's my zoom. Everything in between, I like to move. Don't be a lazy photographer. Get involved with your room, your people. The energy will change because you are part of the event, and it absolutely shows in your images. Tomorrow's video, I'm very excited to say I'm doing the usability review of how I set up the back of this camera. This camera is a beast when you figure out how to make it yours. You know what I mean? All the buttons on the back are programmable and I was taking a few weeks to make that video because I kept changing a setting or two according to actually working on the job. What did I need to change quickly on the job? Your brain doesn't think about things when you're sitting here in your studio or on your couch. When you're on a job, oh man, it all happens real fast. It's like, how do I change it to auto white balance? How do I change the whole film looking grainy effect? How do I change the focusing squares to the zone to the... Yeah, having to go through the menu? No. No, 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 no. You're not on the job going through the menu. You will, and you, and you will make it happen, but then you're gonna go home that night and say, we're programming this puppy right now because I don't wanna have to go through the six minutes like earlier when things are happening in front of me and I'm going through the darn menu system to make a change. Ew, <laughs> give me a break, man. If you're on the fence, and I'm not sponsored by the way, I'm not sponsored, I know what you're thinking. How can this guy not be sponsored? <laughs> I know, right? Hey, Fuji, yo, hook up a brother, huh? <laughs> if you're watching, Fuji, come on, man. I'm on board now. But um, Fringer is not sponsoring this video, but from a Canon shooter going to a Fuji system, um, I was very, very curious if this thing would work. Seriously, I mean, for 300 something bucks, which I thought was expensive, honestly, I told myself, if it only worked with this lens, my favorite little zoom lens, dude, my 1.8 Canon 85, it would be all worthwhile. 
instead of having to go buy a Fuji lens of the 90 or whatever it is and spend $800 to a grand, which I want to do still. I just don't have the dough right now. But, uh, hey, you know, 300 bucks, make this work. So many of you have subscribed, and I'm over the 800 subscriber mark, and we're just strolling right down the road trying to get to 1,000. That's my goal. That was my goal for this whole year, actually, um, was to hit 1,000. So if you're on board and you hit that button, I appreciate you. I surely, surely, surely do. And uh, we have a lot, a lot coming soon. Uh, once the summer comes and we slow down, I can do a lot more of these videos and show you a ton of real life workability with results and final images. And we're gonna we're gonna go from there because capture one, ooh, capture one. Damn. Yeah, that's all I can say. Um, I deleted Lightroom. I did. I did. That'll. That, maybe that face I just made will be the thumbnail when I make that video a little bit down the road. I appreciate you being here. Stay focused on your dreams. And I am going to see you in the next video because I'm shooting that one tomorrow. All right? All right, you guys. Do what you do. Later.